The amyloid precursor protein encoded on chromosome 21 might seem benign, but if it's misprocessed, if it's cleaved by beta, gamma, secretases, it releases beta amyloid, and that's a sticky hydrophobic peptide that aggregates into extracellular plaques in the brain. These plaques are central to Alzheimer's disease. So if you have trisomy 21, you're especially vulnerable to increased APP gene dosage. Why? The result is you have early onset dementia that's marked by memory loss, cognitive decline, widespread brain atrophy. So if you have insoluble protein fragments on chromosome 21, you should think of beta amyloid and Alzheimer's, not blood disorders or muscle breakdown. So APP gene is on your 21, chromosome 21, cleavage break of your beta and your gamma secretases causes beta amyloid plaques, and so genetic study has a mutation there. What is the outcome in these affected individuals? It's gonna be neurodegeneration of the extracellular protein. Trap answers, leukemogenesis, so trisomy 21, mega karyoblast, so in Down syndrome, you could see your leukemogenesis, but it's unrelated to your APP gene specifically or amyloid production. Next, your erythrocyte membrane distortion, that'd be a hereditary spherocytosis or sickle cell, and that would involve your cytoskeletal defects, not your amyloid deposition. And pulmonary elastic tissue loss, that'd be your alpha-1 antitrypsin, not linked to your APP amyloid. And then skeletal muscle fibril, that's dystrophin or sarcomere proteins, not due to APP. So think, uh, if you're dealing with APP on chromosome 21, think of Alzheimer's. Like and subscribe.